The dumbbell row is one of the most butchered exercises of all time, and I've had my fair share of sloppy rows. But right now, I'll be showing you guys five biggest mistakes when it comes to dumbbell rows. Learn from my mistakes, and let's get into it. So the first biggest mistake on the dumbbell row is pulling up and down without reaching from the front. So if you want to know more of the benefits of reaching, check out my Q&A with Connor Harris. He breaks it down into much more detail. Secondly, we got a lot of the dumbbell rowers who like to shrug at the top. So we're greasing the wrong movement patterns. We're not trying to train our upper traps. If you want to do that, you could do a shrug, but you don't want to do that on the dumbbell row. There's a time and place for everything. Then you got the lifters that like to shrug with the opposing arm, which isn't optimal either because we're trying to limit our amount of shrugs that we do in our rows. So ideally we don't want to shrug with either arm. Then another big mistake is interior humeral glide. This is a fancy way of saying that the front delt is going forward as if you're doing a dip, but it's not optimal on an exercise like a row because you're practicing the wrong mechanics. Another big mistake on the dumbbell row is scraping the arm on your oblique. This doesn't give you the right mechanics to pull either, and it just doesn't feel as comfortable either. And then as a bonus tip, you have the jerky movement. Now, I put this as a bonus tip because a lot of people could get away with it, but this is reserved more for advanced lifters. So ideally what we want is, we don't want to shrug on either arm. We want a neutral spine. A bit of cheating is okay if you're more advanced. We want to pull back more. We want to get more reach in the front. And that's how you do a correct dumbbell row. So if you're really interested in getting the proper form, you can screenshot the photo I just posted and that'll give you the right mechanics. So there you guys have it. Those are five of the biggest dumbbell row mistakes. Let me know in the comment section below if you're guilty of any of this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.